make it. Rock crawling is real, folks. Get those rock crawlers started on the workshop because this is some crazy shit. Hello, everybody. Grace Steel Blazing. We're back with more brick rigs. No time for BS. So real quick, there was a big old update that literally just came out as I was messing around in Steam. I saw that there was an update for the game. About uh, 20 minutes ago at the time of recording this, yes, it's about midnight where I am right now. And the update was very cool. First things first, you're going to notice a new vehicle here. This is an 8x8, yes, 8-wheel drive off-road vehicle. Yes, I said off-road. The change to the game has made off-roading much more viable. There's a lot of kind of physics changes here and a lot of new bricks and stuff too. Pretty much the update covered a lot of things. I'll go into some of it, but not all of it. We'll kind of get to the rest of it as time goes on and more and more people make more different types of vehicles to kind of show off the different bricks and such. But real quick, right off, right off the bat, there is a new actuator in the game. It is these huge, long, linear actuators. So that's really cool for individuals who love using actuators. Veradeth, I'm looking at you. Also on top of that, I have to show you guys this. There's new player bricks, and in particular, we now have a passenger seat that we can use. I'm kind of curious if that's going to be a multiplayer thing so that we can actually ride together. And a big new item here is, where is it? Right here. The large diesel engine. This is awesome. It provides a huge amount of torque, and that is one of those physics things that changed in the game. Before, if you've played this game before and you kind of got a feel for how the, the different vehicles work, you know that when it comes to like going uphill or like running into something, you lose a huge amount of power no matter what engine you get. Unless you have the drag engine and then it kind of like flips and flops you all over the place because of the amount of torque it puts out. And then once you start like going, you can kind of keep on going in a, in a good clip. But just getting up the speed and getting uphill was a pain in the ass. Well, all that's been changed. All of the engines provide more power now and are a little, just a little bit more easier to drive. I'll show you guys right now. Let's go ahead and spawn this big old beast right here. So that's the sound of the new diesel, the large diesel engine. You'll notice right here we have this 8x8. Now, if we start moving, before getting up hills like this would have been a pain in the balls. And now we're totally able to do it. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the vehicles are more sticky. Uh, like they stick to the ground more. I also feel like there's a lot less of a possibility for your vehicle to go flying over, like kind of tipping. And also for the wheels to go exploding off of the vehicle. I noticed that happens a lot less too. I decided to put on the UI real quick just so you can see like kind of a little bit of the speed that we're going here with this diesel engine. I'm going to just kind of like ride around off off road like this. Now before, we would never be able to, and as I talk about how the vehicle is more sticky, I flip on over, son of a bitch. Anyway, what I was saying was before, like a hill like this, we would never have the opportunity to get up this. The, the engine would have never created enough torque. But look at this bitch climb. It's doing it, man. Before, like, this, we, we would have just slid down by now. But now, again, this is kind of like, you know, the very first kind of 8x8 vehicle using the, the new engine that's out on the workshop. And this was made by the creator. So there's a little bit of, you know, there's a little bit of difficulty in driving it. But I'm really impressed with how well, I mean, look at the, I mean, and to be fair too, look at the, the cliff side I'm going up here. It's like, could I have picked a more sheer cliff side? We're damn near going straight up this thing. This should not be possible. But man, we're doing it. Look at how crazy this is. Holy cow, hold on. I need to zoom out for this bullshit. Yes, we're going to make it. Rock crawling is real, folks. Get those rock crawlers started on the workshop because this is some crazy shit. Hold on. Let's see if we can make it to the top of this mountain. I can't believe how well, how well this thing sticks. And this is what I was talking about, the stickiness. Before... I felt like our vehicle would just kind of slide down, but now there's a definite amount of stickiness to the vehicle when you're crawling your way up these insane hills like this. All right, let me see if I can keep this thing without flipping here. All right, nope, that's not going to happen. 
We're on our site. Can I recover? No, no recovery today. So, how fast can you go in the diesel? It looks like right around 100 kilometers per hour is what I've got up to. I'm going to go ahead over here to the roadway and get this thing going a little bit. Let me try and not flip, though. All right, so here we are on the roadway, kind of going toward the top speed. You're going to notice at the top speed, right around 100 kilometers per hour, 110. And impressively, when, you, when, when the wheels can get good grip, you don't have a tendency to flip quite as much. Well, we had a we had a damn well tendency to flip there. We also went off the side of a of kind of a little cliff side there, so that kind of makes sense. Now, not only do we have this vehicle, there was another vehicle that Verdeth made, which originally had the drag engine in it. Let's go ahead and remove this vehicle real quick. I want to show you guys this. This originally had the drag engine in it, so what I did was I loaded the vehicle real quick and I put the diesel engine in it, and damn it. It works pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. Right over here. Diesel replaced. So, well, you know what? Here, let me go ahead and open up uh, Verdes' original model right here. Called the Siege Breaker. 450 bricks. Um, just to kind of show you its original name and kind of what it looked like. It, this is the exact same thing. The only difference is I replaced the engine with the diesel engine. Let's go ahead and spawn this real quick. So, right off the bat, you're going to notice several weapons on this thing. It's got a fully mobile turret, as Verdes typically does right here. It's got a turret in the back. We've got cannons and a machine gun style weaponry there. But that's not all. Oh, this is interesting. Hold on here. Look at our bullets. Hold on. Look at the casings. That's very unusual. Our casings are moving at incredibly slow paces. I'm not exactly sure why that is. That might be a little bit of a glitch or something like that in the game right now. Anyway. You're going to notice an awesome plow here on the front. We can go ahead and uh, use our actuators and use the W and S keys to lift that up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up damn near all the way. Just so that we can move out to the roadway here. So, this is Verdeth's creation. Very cool vehicle. And again, you'll see here that this thing can climb surfaces that before it would absolutely not, have, not be able to. And I think that this engine makes a lot more sense than the drag engine. Now, I have driven this with the drag engine, and it was a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. It, it just, it, it provided too much power too quickly. Yeah! Look at that firepower raining down right there. This has a lot more even power, I would say. The, the pickup and the power and the torque of this engine inside of the vehicle is much more even. Allows me to stay on the road a lot better. You notice we're not really flipping or anything right now, which is kind of nice. We're going 70 kilometers per hour. Before, a top-heavy vehicle like this would have careened over on its side big time. Now, I think if you go over into the sand, you won't hug the pavement as much, and you'll probably flip. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. We'll go out here. And then if I turn right now... Um, no, it still hugs pretty damn good. How about this? Wow. Okay, so this stays on course pretty damn well. But the big question is, when it comes to, let me go ahead and slow down here. When it comes to these, this diesel engine, just how much pure power can it put out when it comes to busting through other vehicles and pushing them around? Let's go ahead and put this plow against some other vehicles and see what kind of damage we can do and see if we can drive on through it especially with the new material strengths in the bricks. As I'm moving these vehicles around and as I'm getting getting them stacked up so we can smash through them, I can clearly feel a difference when it comes to how well they hug the ground. See that turn right there? This thing would have flipped previously. So they're definitely sticking a lot better. This is going to allow everyone to have a lot more fun because the biggest issue is that as you got a little bit of speed in those kind of like vehicles that are shaped in the ways of you know, like first responder vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks, kind of stuff like that. They had a tendency to flip over once you got them anywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and put down a few more things. What else could we use here? We're going to put down, uh, let's put down this old four Thunderbird. That should be good. We'll go ahead and get him out there. I can definitely feel the difference in these electric motors, these little motors here. And if you guys are watching, have been watching the series since the beginning, you can probably see it too. The, you get a lot of... A pickup very very quickly now with these electric motors oh man my one little guy kind of ended up moving there I know I put the parking brake on all right hold on let me swing this around throw the parking brake on here real quick in fact we're gonna back up just slightly to get it a little bit more aimed up there we go 
So that's in place now. That shouldn't be going anywhere. What? How? Why did you get all out of position? What the hell happened here? Then enter this thing. Bring it back up here. Right about there. Parking brake on. Yes. You should not be moving anywhere. It is. It's creeping. Some bitch. All right. Well, whatever. We'll see if we can keep that thing into place. Go ahead and recover back here at the garage. Get inside and see what kind of damage we can do. Let's go ahead and enter this vehicle. Oh, yeah, baby. There's that diesel engine humming. Let's go ahead and lift up our front thing just to get us just to get us on the road. We don't want this to kind of get in the way. Now, I put them a little bit down there so we can get some good speed. You can see we're already, we're already touching down now and again. You got to lift this thing up big time. Oh, yeah. The blue vehicle seems to be staying. That's good. Here we go. Let's go ahead and line on up here. Oh, god damn. All right, do a little bit of a handstand. All right, boys, we're back. Let's go ahead and take the parking brake off and let's freaking do this. Let me put it into first gear first. And let's freaking do this. Let's see how well this thing can bust through the opposition. I'll make sure to slow it down as we kind of get ourselves down there. Let's see, we're in third gear. Getting into fourth gear, doing pretty good. Oops, starting to skid a little bit. Starting to skid a little bit. Here we go. Now the question is, does this plow and will the power of the diesel engine drive through the opposition? Yes. The plow is definitely stronger than it was before. The only issue is, is that it has a tendency to kind of rip into the uh, into the black top there, if you notice, and that kind of stops us. But wow, this thing can push some vehicles around. Hold on one second. Let me. There we go. <laughs> yes. That's how you get rid of vehicles that are in the freaking way. There we go. A little bit of fire and brimstone never hurt anyone. You guys knew there'd have to be some destruction here. Go ahead and keep on pushing through. Oh, God, we're on fire now. I wonder if we'll burn up or not. Uh, I think tires are starting to pop. Yep, we lost the tire there. We're still going, though. Holy crap. Where's the, where's the, the anti-fire systems on this thing? Still rolling. Oh, the Inferno is totally engulfing our vehicle now. Guns still work, though. Come on, Siege Breaker. Don't give up on me now. We've got two tires left. It's driving the into. Oh, my God. I've never... Nope. We just fell to pieces. All right, we're back. We're going to take one more pass at these vehicles. I've got the plow up a little bit here. One of the vehicles kind of rolled out of position. I want to see if I can get more speed as we run into these things and see if we can blow through them. I'm also not gonna put it into slow-mo. I feel like, I, I almost feel like doing things in slow-mo, you lose some of the power. I'm really curious how the physics work on that. 66 kilometers per hour, 70, 80. Ugh! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, man. Holy crap. You can push through these pretty damn good. Um, from there, utilizing the weaponry to kind of get get through the rest is probably the way to do it. Hold on, let me get out of here before we... Oh, God, we caught on fire. Son of a bitch. The fire spreads really fast. Oh, good, the fire's out. Nope, the fire's back. I was going to say, I thought the fire was out. It disappeared for just a second there. Now it's going to take the entirety of our vehicle down. Let's see if I can blow this thing up real quick while we're losing it. Oh, no. Oh, it's not looking good. It is not looking good, folks. We are on fire. I will say, though, Verda, if you put together a really cool vehicle and also developer... Big props on the diesel engines. I'm really liking this diesel engine. I really appreciate that there's like a high torque engine that doesn't have to go like a million miles per hour and can be used for a lot of off-road riding. I really want to hope, I hope to see some really cool off-road like rock crawling style of vehicles and maybe even more powerful plow like vehicles like this, especially since the brick strength is in now and these plows can legitimately plow through other bricks and not fall apart, not kind of like wilt away and falter. Very cool stuff happening in the game though, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this update with the new engines, a couple of new bricks, and a lot of the new possibilities that we have now for different vehicles. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.